Aries, so oh, this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Mondays, let's see what you need to know. Aries. Aries, we do have a lot of we do have a lot of better days than than uh, bad ones this week. It's almost this feeling that you are determined, Aries. To make something work or to make a change here even though it might be a little bit hard a little bit difficult i do see you being very determined let's see yeah aries there really is this feeling uh, here on monday you are moving on from something or trying to more towards a more positive uh, or happier place Aries leaving some things behind that doesn't serve you and knowing that you are heading in the in the right direction here Tuesday yes manifesting new things for you Aries can be as well that you are taking the the steps here Towards your uh, well, towards your new goals, Aries. Yeah, and if it is regarding love, Aries. That you're trying to move away from a little bit because here on Wednesday it's like you're not wanting to well, you're not wanting to think about it we will come back and clarify Wednesday for you <coughs> let's see It's almost like you are. Yeah, Iris. Can I just see you trying to remain positive throughout the week here? Because uh, you are moving on from something that you, well, rather won't, to be honest. It's like you would like to stay in the past with a happiness. But right now, currently, it's not giving you anything uh, besides, well, besides some uh, well, hardship, Aries. Yeah, can I do see you moving on from somebody here, Aries? Because um, it is. It's like this is not the path that you uh, would have liked or chosen, Aries, for yourself. But you. Well, 
was forced to take this this route um, yeah and it is a little bit hard Aries it's like trying to get back on your feet once again after well, this didn't work out Ah. Um, so Wednesday, Thursday, I do see you being in your in your mind here. Uh, Aries, thinking about the past. And on Friday, It's like you do have the opportunity here on Friday Aries to be with somebody or if somebody is contacting you here but either way I do see you delaying it as well on Friday like not right now but maybe in the future we can we can meet up yeah it is a delayed offer here or something that you will delay because right now you're not just filling up to it Aries kind of do see you walking away from somebody or something recently trying to remain positive throughout it knowing in your mind that this is the best thing for you to do but your feelings are just not caught up yet and that's why it's so hard <laughs> yeah but you're you're fighting here Aries you are pushing forward even though it might hurt some days it might hurt but you are yeah so Aries that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Taurus so this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what this week has to offer we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see. Let's see Taurus, let's start with Monday. <coughs> Yeah, Taurus, on Monday, can I do see you getting some sort of offer or seeing something that is, uh, uh, well, intriguing you? Like you get some excitement here, uh, Taurus. Hearing about something or well, well, some news, Taurus, where you are just wanting to find out a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's it.
Yeah, so because it can be a, a work opportunity here Taurus for you but I kind of do see you declining it as well like oh yes it sounds interesting uh, but you it's like you have set your your plans emotions already Taurus so this can be just a small distraction because I don't see you really going for it Taurus it's like you do have your your own vision here yeah I don't see you giving up on your on your vision on your uh, on your current path Taurus it's like you know that this well that offer might sound uh, better on paper but you know where your happiness lies uh, so you're going to keep on fighting for your for your goals here Taurus Thursday <laughs> On Thursday Taurus I do see you making some sort of decision here where you are that you know in your core that this is the right call to do and if anyone or is trying to well tell you otherwise I don't see you backing down from your uh, um, from your decision or from your principle Taurus So listen to your gut feelings on Thursday. Because that's the, the right call, Taurus. Just be confident in your, well, in, uh, which I do see you being, um, but with your answer. And on Friday, Taurus. It's a lot of happiness here. Friday. Yeah, can be an uh, an after work thing that you do have going on here, Taurus, on Friday. That's a, a lot of good times. This can be you as well, knowing that you are uh, doing a good job here, feeling stable where you are right now, uh, Taurus. Yeah, but a good good Friday for you. Yeah, Taurus. Can even be that somebody's trying to. How do you say? Uh, recruit you this week. They're trying to give you a better offer. Um, yeah, but you are staying true. Yeah, Taurus. So, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Uh, thank you and uh, bye. Gemini, so this is going to be your weekly reading. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. 
starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. So a lot of uh, <coughs> I'm going to feel a little bit exhausted this week, Gemini. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's start with Monday here. Yeah, a little bit of a stress here, Gemini, on Monday. It's almost this feeling of you wanting to, well, almost slow things down, but knowing that you just don't got the time for it. So it's a very scheduled Monday for you. And I do see you running around all day, Gemini. And not finding any time just just for you. Not even for a coffee almost. Um, yeah. Tuesday. Kind of the same feeling here. Gemini feeling a, a bit exhausted. Especially from the day you had before. Yeah. It's almost like you do want to just uh, stay at home here on, on Tuesday. Yeah, but I. Wednesday. In fact, you are talking to somebody here on Wednesday, Gemini. Uh, well, somebody that helps you feel better, Gemini. Can be a, 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 your person or, or a, just a good friend, Gemini. It's like it is somebody that you can talk about with, with like everything and nothing about. Yeah, but a lot of mutual love here on Wednesday. We'll come back to Thursday. Let's see. Let's see. clarify Thursday. <coughs> almost like a family gathering here on Thursday, Gemini. Yeah, can't talk about an inherent and I've lost the word. I see it. 
I can feel it and and her and and her and one second Gemini Inheritance. <laughs> Can't talk about an inherit inherit what? One more. Inheritance. 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 Can't talk about an in yeah. Inheritance. Gemini. On Thursday. Yeah, but so it's uh, regarding a uh, family here and you almost trying to please everybody as well. You know, or everybody is, um, well, acting nice and, and such. Relatives. Let's see, and on Friday, Gemini. Inheritance, inheritance. You hear that word, I do read it all the time as well, inheritance. Just now I'm now I'm nailing it. Inheritance. I just lost it. And on Friday, Gemini. Yeah, I do see it regarding love, but more what it is that you are after here. Gemini, yeah, can be that you are questioning it a little bit. Or starting to make uh, some changes on uh, what it is that you are uh, valuing. Gemini. Yeah, Yeah, it's like you are taking a uh, hard look here into yourself. What it is that you are pri prioritizing or, or wanting when it comes to love, Gemini. Making small, some changes. Yeah, Gemini. A little bit of stress, at least in the beginning of the week here. When it comes to work, I do see you running around, feeling a bit exhausted, and then it comes in more towards uh, friends and family here. Um, they can be all mixed together in one as well. Gemini. So, Gemini, that's what I had for you. Thank you, and uh, bye. Cancers, oh, this is going to be your weekly reading. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So let's see what you need to know for the coming days. A lot of a lot of news cancer some good news offer as well yeah, it looks like a busy week we will see
yeah cancer do have some news coming in your way on uh, here on monday we do have the ace of pentacles can be the beginning of something uh, of something good here cancer can be an offer a new job offer as well if you have been waiting to hear yeah i do see you getting accepted uh somewhere cancer we will see yeah look at you here on tuesday already starting to make some 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 plans some goals there is an excitement here as well cancer almost drawing up where you're heading yeah, there is an excitement here uh, cancer <coughs> Wednesday <laughs> There's almost this feeling of you wanting to rush something as well here cancer But it's telling me that you should instead almost slow down it can be a lot of excitement right now and you just wanted to go 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 uh, but it's here on Wednesday. It's like a, a need to slow down. Um, yeah, to just remain calm, remain centered, Cancer. Yeah. Gonna clarify Thursday. So do you see there is still this excitement uh, cancer um, and there's still here this happiness uh, this uh, joyful um, joyful day for you here on Thursday it's almost like you are well trying to be as prepared as one can be as well so it's almost like you're just looking up what you should uh, what you should bring or what is required from you um, Yeah. It's a lot of things that you do have going on in your mind, thinking about. But it's like you just want to be as prepared as one can be here. It can be a trip as well. Yeah, a real exciting week for your cancer. Some good news that will just get you all excited here. On Friday, it is this feeling or this knowing within you that it is. Well, now it is my time to shine, a uh, kind of feeling. Yeah, you're not going to let anyone. Uh, take this away from you or uh, you're not going to quit on this like you are ready to go here cancer 
Yeah, cancer. Look at look at this Thursday. We have the well the bouquet, the nine of cups, six of cups, and six of wands. A lot of recognition here. Um, yeah, but it is a uh, A good week for you cancer an opportunity here that you are ready for as well this has been something that you have been waiting for now you're just making all the preparations yeah so cancer that's bad for you uh, thank you and uh, bye Leo, so it is going to be your reading. We're going to take a look at what this week has to offer. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So let's see. Leo. It's almost this feeling this week, Leo, that you're trying to get yourself out of something, something that you know is not good for you. Um, it's hard. Now let's see. Yeah, Leo. On Monday, because I do see you a little, little bit lost here, um, Leo, in the day to day, because you are so focused on on something else, so you might be causing small accidents here and there, because you're not, your mind is not with you. Um, yeah, forgetting things, Leo. Yeah, you really zoomed in into a, a problem or how to solve a problem here. Um, Tuesday, Tuesday looks good, Leo. Like working towards your uh, goals looking for towards the future uh, preparing yourself Leo it can be that you are um, longing for a special event as well here on Tuesday Yeah. On Wednesday. No. Let's clarify Wednesday. Yeah. 
It's almost like you are counting the days, Leo, for something to be over here. Or knowing that the day that you are well, dreading a little bit is, is closing on you, Leo. Yeah, so either you're trying to just get past something real fast here or there's something coming up in the near future that you're not looking forward to Leo we will see um, Thursday yeah can I do see you keeping to yourself here on Thursday, Leo? Not wanting, uh, um, well, just hoping that not anything else happen upon all of this. It's like you do have enough to deal with as it is. It's like you're just yeah, keeping to yourself here on, on Thursday. And on Friday, Leo, it's almost this feeling on Friday that you are going to make your almost a, a decision that you're making here on Friday that you're going to rely more on yourself trust trust your intuition and because uh, um, you know who you are it can be somebody else's voice that you're hearing here as well someone that's wanting to put in their input Leo it's like you are taking your power back here on Friday. Yeah, doing what's best for you, Leo. Yeah, you see, uh. you knowing what's best for you and making the call after that so it's almost not going to be if you have been a little bit back and forth here Leo as well uh, trying to put or take everybody else's consideration into into mind it's like you it's like enough of that I'm gonna just uh, make what's make the call that is best for me yeah so leo that's bad for you thank you and uh bye virgo so it is going to be your weekly reading we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day let's see what you need to know coming days There we go. Yeah, can be that you will have some some good news out of the blue, Virgo, this week because this card just flew out. Um, yeah, so some un unexpected news here there we go Friday or Wednesday when the news might come in and this happiness 
kind of do see it being more Friday, but yeah, we will see. start with Monday there's some more focus on your uh, your surroundings here on on Monday Virgo like your friends and family uh, but I kind of do see that there has been a situation as well where you are questioning this happiness. But on Monday it's like you are letting those thoughts go. And committing more to something, Virgo. Well, it's almost like making a, a decision to commit um, harder into something. Um, uh, something that you have been a little bit back and forth with um. <coughs> Tuesday I do see somebody opening up here Virgo on Tuesday can be something that has been uh, hidden as well it's like almost as someone is speaking their their mind here Virgo communicating how they truly feel or um, yeah opening up a little bit Wednesday so do see this being a good day for you uh, Virgo on Wednesday but it's going to be like an incidence um, can be a discussion an argument accusations um, yeah, but something that is going to well, ruin this day for you Yeah, can be a, a small discussion here on on Wednesday. <coughs> can be as well that somebody's bringing up something that you thought you had cleared, Virgo. It's like an a, a past argument, a past uh, uh, discussion, like you. You thought that you already had gone through it, like worked through it. But no, here it is again. Can be that. Um, Virgo. Thursday. Can I do see it more now, uh, Virgo? That this is something that you thought you had cleared out because here on Thursday it's almost like, ah, not this again. Yeah, just a past here. Yeah, because I do see it is a you juggling a little bit here on Thursday, Virgo, not knowing how to what to do in this situation. You thought that you have already cleared it or had a well, that it was fixed, but now here it is again. 
it's like how long is it going to last this time before well, they come with this once more so I'm feeling a little bit back and forth here um, Virgo Thursday not seeing an, an, an out really and on Friday this news there is an offer either this is uh, a little bit too good to be true or just the person that you are hearing it from is uh, it's not somebody that you trust yeah um, Uh, just be careful here on Friday on who is coming in with this uh, message or with this uh, communication because I do see you already having your um, well suspicious being suspicious towards this person already yeah so some might be some false information here on, on Friday so there we go that's what I had for you um, thank you and uh, bye Libra so it is going to be your weekly reading where we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday so let's see what you need to know for the coming days a lot of communication this week Libra a lot of back and forth um, yeah let's see let's take a closer look here it's almost just uh, getting to know somebody better here On Monday Libra can I do see you getting over uh, something is still with you a little bit uh, something that happened in the past something that you were um, well regretting or upset about a sadness here Libra but it doesn't hurt as much anymore so it is this that you are yeah almost over it I will come back Tuesday and clarify this Libra Wednesday some good news on Wednesday Libra something that you well, will get real happy about hearing can be you getting uh, an invitation uh, you getting accepted as well to somewhere Libra it's real um, 
jo a joyful news here for you. Consider this is a reconciliation here on, on Thursday. If somebody wants to somebody wants to fix things once again, a past person Libra is coming in trying to repair. somebody that you have had a connection with uh, a deeper one uh, or emotions were involved here Libra but I don't see you it's more of curiosity that you are well, going to explore this Libra because there yeah there are emotions at least not right now they are not there anymore it's almost like well let's see what they what they have to say um, yeah Libra so I do see you hearing somebody out here uh, on Thursday and on Friday Libra yeah it's still this person Libra that they are wanting to repair things uh, they are opening up towards you uh, it's like you are having a conversation with them um, yeah but you are treading very carefully as well because this is somebody that uh, hurt you Libra so are taking it very um, yeah you're being real careful here on what it is that you're saying uh, it's mostly you hearing them out Libra <coughs> all right Tuesday let's see Yeah, but I do see somebody coming back here, try wanting to work things out. You don't have, you had, you had emotions towards them. Don't see you having it anymore, not in that way. Is this feeling on Tuesday Libra that you're not that you feel like you're not prepared enough Libra if it is some sort of meeting or um, uh, a test Libra if you are in, in school 
it's like you're feeling like you're not you should have prepared more in for this like you should have uh, studied more or yeah get more information Libra yeah so Libra um, that's bad for you thank you and uh, bye Scorpio so it is going to be your weekly reading we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with Monday so let's see what you need to know coming days a lot of happiness here stability some news some communication let's see let's start with monday Scorpio this can be this can just be a, a package arriving here on Monday uh, but I see that you have been it's like you have been waiting for this for quite some time and, and here on Monday here it is brings you a lot of joy Scorpio yeah I do see that you have been waiting for this can be three months uh, three weeks that you've been waiting to hear this news or to receive this Scorpio Tuesday yeah it's almost like you are trying to cover up some sort of mistake uh, Scorpio that you have made uh, at work Are you doing something that you shouldn't do? Yeah, I kind of do see it. You covering up some sort of uh, some sort of mistake, trying to fix it regarding work. Wednesday can be that you do run into somebody here on Wednesday. A past person, somebody that did hurt you, Scorpio, 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 <coughs> Scorpio, there we go, Scorpio. Um, yeah, can I do see that the, the past is trying to contact you here, Scorpio? Because there's not, with this communication or with this person, there's not so much happiness that uh, shows up in your energy. Yeah, a, a little bit of... Uh, a lot of communication here back and forth uh, with the past and on Friday because it is this feeling Scorpio that even though that this is presenting itself and bringing up uh, past memories and emotions it is this knowing on Friday that well, I have I've, I have dealt with all of this, 
um, and I, at, the, at the same time I have I have distanced myself from these emotions it's like knowing that you have indeed moved on from it yeah knowing that you are heading to a much much happier place right now like looking for uh, towards the future of course when the past arrives uh, it will bring up all of these emotions and memories but it's like you you know that you already have dealt with it and let it go and look at the future that you are heading towards as well Scorpio and there's a knowing here as well that you have uh, that you know your worth and you have taken care of yourself yeah so Scorpio that's what I had for you thank you and uh, bye Sagittarius so oh, this is going to be your reading we're going to take a look at what? what this week has to offer we're gonna go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day starting with monday so let's see what you need to know I do see you just taking care of business this week Sagittarius um, focusing on your your close ones let's see on Monday looks like this is some sort of investment opportunity Sagittarius so I can uh, you're looking into some investment or you starting something here that well has some potential Sagittarius but it is the early stages as well if you are starting to create something new yeah then i do see you starting to or trying to master something new here uh, sagittarius because here on, on tuesday it is the the same kind of energy this uh, being a bit curious uh, getting more information um, yeah early stages here can be a new project or just some a new job that you might be interested in yeah I do see you getting some information here on, on Tuesday Wednesday On Wednesday because you are we will come back Wednesday oh, we'll see so almost to see a secretary is telling telling someone enough or enough is enough on on Wednesday here
Yeah. Can be a, a guilty pleasure as well, Sagittarius. Something that you know is not good for you, but you, uh, well, you like it. It's almost like here on Wednesday, the, these feelings are starting to creep in on you. I do see you say, uh, putting the foot down pretty fast. Like, nope, I'm taking care of myself now. I'm not going into those, um, well, those pleasures. Ah, I do see you. Turning this down. Um, can be somebody as well, Sagittarius, here on Wednesday, coming back, somebody that isn't good for you, and it's like you're just uh, uh, closing the door on them, almost, like, nope, not doing this again. Um, Thursday yeah really do see that you are doing something new here uh, Sagittarius early stages you do have the all the pages page 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 so it's this uh, curiosity, this uh, wanting to learn a little bit more. Um, yeah, believing that this could uh, lead to something more here. Sagittarius. And on Friday. some sort of uh, celebration here on Friday, Sagittarius, an, an anniversary or just a, a tradition, Sagittarius, I do see it as a celebration, almost like a, uh, uh, like a birthday party. Yeah, it's a good, good uh, Friday for you you're being surrounded by, by somebody that you do care about yeah so so you know just, it's like the early steps towards something new here the only Just be careful on Wednesday as well, Sagittarius. It looks like a well. It is the it is the devil here that you are turning down. So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Capricorn, so it is going to be your reading where we're going to take a look at well, what this week has to offer. We're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know. Coming days. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can I do see you just doing you this week, Capricorn? Like crushing it on work. On your... Uh, on your goals. On you. Like doing what is required of you. Capricorn. Yeah, keeping busy, Capricorn. Because almost this feeling here on Monday, on Monday at least, that is if you, it's like you don't want to slow down. It's like you want to keep busy here, Capricorn. Because if you, yeah. Almost like you're trying to cover something up. Like if you sit down and relax, then all of this, uh, these thoughts will come into play. Can be a past, uh, past burden as well that you're trying to escape from a little bit. Or not wanting to look into right now at least. Yeah, so you are keeping yourself busy here. Um, Tuesday. It's like this. Uh, yeah, it's almost like you are being forced to deal with this Capricorn. Um, so even if you would like to outrun it, I do see here on Tuesday it is. It is with you and you are dealing with it. So it's like it was no way of escaping it, Capricorn. Um, yeah, but you are dealing with it, with this uh, sadness on Tuesday. <coughs> Wednesday, I do see you doing something just for you. On Wednesday, showing yourself a good time. Yeah, it's like taking care of, of you here, Capricorn. Can be somebody that you really care for as well or is helping you here on Wednesday. Um, I do see you having a good time. Thursday. This is new. Yeah, Capricorn. On Thursday, I do see somebody reaching out to you, but then it's almost like they are, like they are taking it back, or like ah, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what I was uh, um, thinking with. Yeah, because it leaves you, it leaves you confused. Like, what is it that you uh, wanted here? Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, Capricorn, can I just see you receiving some sort of a communication or a call uh, by somebody that, well, was thinking about you, uh, but then as soon as they did it, they regretted it. <coughs> And on Friday, Capricorn. Can be can be you as well here, Capricorn. Uh, it's like missing somebody and and send out uh, some sort of communication. And as soon as you press send, it's like oh, oh, I shouldn't have I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. On Friday, Capricorn, can I do see you having a good time, even though you might not be uh, feeling like it? Like it's requiring a lot of energy for you to, well, get out there. But it turns out to be um, better than you have expected here. Yeah, you see, it being a good Friday, even though you might might have not might not feel like it or resisting it a little bit I do see you having a good time so Capricorn that's what I had for you uh, thank you and uh, bye Aquarius so it is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day Starting with Monday, so let's see what you need to know. The coming days. Looks like a Pretty good week for you, Aquarius. Yeah. A lot of happiness. We do have your friends as well, some sort of uh, communication, some news. Let's see. On Monday Aquarius this can be you doing something uh, well a little bit exciting so it might be something that you know that you shouldn't do but it feels good um, yeah but some some pleasures here Aquarius on Monday can be as well a guilty pleasure, but uh, ah, I will come back to see a little bit more on Monday for you. Tuesday, do see it being a very relaxed day for you, Aquarius. Not having much to do. Yeah, just taking it very easy, dealing with small things a relaxed day Wednesday it is news about a new opportunity here Aquarius or about an opportunity I will see.
Thursday. Looks like you do have a, a friend in need here, or you just helping out a friend. Aquarius, spending your day. Um, Yeah, can be that you are building a stronger bond with somebody as well. And on Friday, Aquarius, can I do see you doing something that feel makes you feel like you are on top of the world here? Um, yeah, well, we will see. We will start with Monday. Yeah, Aquarius, on Monday, it is this feeling that, that in this moment, it, it feels right for you to do it. You know that it might not be the, the smartest thing to do, or it's going to, it might be, well, come back and bite you in, in the future. But right now, it, it is something that you are wanting to do. Aquarius. Yeah, kind of do see it as a as a um, guilty pleasure here. Aquarius. It's like uh, it's it's worth it's worth the the risk. On Wednesday I really do see this as a new opportunity for you Aquarius um, it's almost something that you have been waiting for <coughs> um, King of Swords Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups Aquarius so it's an uh, exciting new opportunity on Wednesday and on Friday. It's almost like you are. It can be a, a business deal or just uh, something, some business related. Um, it's almost like you are trying to come up with some sort of idea here, Aquarius, on Friday. I just see it more being business. Uh, related yeah. like you are talking to higher ups here uh, you might be one as well I did see a lot of power uh, in this room Aquarius yeah so Aquarius yeah, looks like a pretty good week for you. So, uh, that's what I have for you. Thank you and uh, bye. Pisces, so this is going to be your weekly reading where we're going to go day by day to see which energy sticks out the most on each day. Starting with Monday. So, let's see. 
what you need to know. For the coming days. Let's see. Let's start with Monday. So, Pisces, on Monday, well, I do see a, a gathering here on Monday. And it can be that you will run into somebody or um, well, that you don't really trust Pisces. Yeah, there's something about them here, Pisces. It's like you do have your walls up towards this person. Uh, looks like everybody else is is uh, well, is trusting them. But not you. There's something about them. <clears throat> Tuesday. This can be some sort of new business idea, Pisces. Do you have got going on? No, but it can be that you are in the lookout as well for a new job or just uh, yeah, taking uh, exploring a little bit to see what, what else is out there. On Wednesday, by this, <laughs> it's almost like you are questioning or well, yeah, questioning yourself if you should put more energy in towards something or just leave it be. Uh, it's like, should I fight for this or, or not? Yeah, so going a little bit back and forth here, Pisces, on Wednesday. Um, not sure where you stand. Thursday, it's a lot of stability here. It can be that you are dealing with a, a family member as well, Pisces, on Thursday. There's this this uh, feeling feeling comfortable, feeling feeling at, at home here, Pisces. Can just be that you are taking care of yourself as well. Pisces. And on Friday, looks like it is uh, some sort of change of plans here. If you have made plans with a friend on Friday. Looks like a little bit of a change of plans here, Pisces. It was something that you were looking forward to. I do see it being a friend that you were hoping to uh, spend uh, well, the day with. Yeah. It's like they're gonna leave you hanging, Pisces. Um, yeah, so a little bit of change of plans.
can be you as well Pisces that needs to that needs to do some work so you are canceling on somebody here due to work yeah so Pisces looks like a pretty good week for you Monday just be careful because it looks like somebody has indeed fooled everybody else um, yeah but you do have a, a, an eye on them Pisces. and if it is that you are signing something as well on on monday just be just take an extra look on the contract prices because um, you see a celebration here so it might be something that you are believing that you are celebrating but then it comes back and bite you um, yeah so prices that's what i had for you thank you and uh, bye